So one of the things uh, I told you guys about Ron DeSantis is that he appears to uh, genuinely have super online 4chan Nazis running his campaign and running the various PACs affiliated with him. Um, and the thing that was the nail in the coffin on this front for me, where I was convinced that that's the case, is this ad that went viral uh, recently. And we played this on the show. By the way, it's... It's a questionable thing, copyright-wise. Like, they could strike the channel or whatever for me showing this. So I'm gonna, I'll am i play a little bit of it, or I'll play it, but I'm going to mute it because um, I don't want to get the, the video knocked. I don't want to get it pulled down. I want everybody to see it. But you guys saw this ad. Basically, it portrays Trump as being pro-gay and pro-trans and acting like that's evil and bad and wrong and that DeSantis is the real based Chad because he hates trans people. Here's some headlines about how much he hates. I love it when he hates, yes. So here, I'll play some of the ad for you. I will do everything in my power to protect our LG. So that's Trump saying he would do everything in his power to protect the LGBTQ community. He did that in the, his 2016 speech to the RNC when he was accepting the nomination for president. And he was doing it in the context of bashing Muslims. The thing that was in style, the, the fad five years ago was like, there's ISIS terrorism and Al-Qaeda terrorism. So... We're going to, to attack them and attack Muslims and brown people and do a total and complete shutdown of Muslims coming in the U.S. We're going to say, we're, we're only doing it because we want to protect the gay community and they're anti-gay, bro. This is him with Caitlyn Jenner on screen. Now I've muted it for you guys. Uh, Donald Trump sides with Disney. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner supporting Trump. Trump saying that uh, trans persons can use the bathroom of their choice. That's what's happening right now on the screen. Trump repeatedly celebrated the inclusion of trans women in beauty pageants. He invited one in for Miss America. And then you have, now they're going to do the Ron DeSantis thing. The, uh, you got the, Christian Bale was on screen, who, in, uh, in American Psycho, where he's known for killing, absolutely murdering homeless people. He's a serial killer in that movie, and they're showing it like he's a, he's a based Chad. Um, and then they got all these, these titles on screen, like Pride Event in St. Cloud canceled after DeSantis signed Protection of Children Act into law. So they're bragging about getting drag shows canceled. Uh, they're bragging about targeting gender-affirming care. Um, DeSantis seems unstoppable. DeSantis is assault on left. Blah blah blah. DeSantis is public. DeSantis is public enemy number one. You got humanist report on the screen. I think Jank shows up on the screen too at some point here. This is super online and in no uncertain terms. The idea that they're putting out there is it is based that he hates LGBTQ people, and they're not hiding it. They're wearing it as a badge of honor. And they're showing, like, oiled bodybuilders here to try to be like, look how based he is, bro. Uh, yeah, nothing says I'm anti-gay like gawking over <laughs> oiled up, super muscular men. So this led to a tremendous backlash, and mainstream media was sort of mocking it, and uh, the left was mocking it, and every moderate in the country was mocking it. And when they showed this to, like, swing voters and asked what they thought of it, they were, like, disturbed by it. And DeSantis has been hemorrhaging moderate support and independent support. He's been hemorrhaging college-educated youth who used to support his campaign. And again, it's because he's way too online. Well, we have another example of the exact same thing here. All right, let me play for you. So a new ad with Ron DeSantis from DeSantis Cams. And it's the Ron DeSantis fan cams um, account. So this is like a DeSantis, pro-DeSantis troll account. I'll play some of this, but again, I'm gonna have to mute it because of the music. Right now on the screen, Trump didn't actually accomplish much on immigration. Trump promotes COVID vaccines, boosters, despite opposition. The Republicans, your favorite president, want you to get vaccinated. Trump defends response to coronavirus as he's not firing Fauci. Trump holding up the, the gay pride flag. And now these are articles about um, the the First Step Act and people who were released under it and, you know, some of them reoffended, and this is them saying, oh, he's soft on crime, Trump is weak on crime, etc. Then enter here enters Ron DeSantis, who they think is a based Chad. Don't tread on me flag on the screen. DeSantis, in their eyes, DeSantis is sort of like reviving the old Trump movement because he's actually anti-immigrant. He's actually anti-gay. But wait for it. Wait for it. So, by the way, I should also point out that um, this was retweeted by a, a DeSantis staffer. By the way, that other video, uh, the super online one before, was made in-house by the DeSantis people. Then they defended it when there was backlash over it. Okay, it's important to know that. 
this video was retweeted by DeSantis staffers. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Rocket taking off. Top Gov Ron DeSantis. Governor Ron DeSantis to send Florida National Guard soldiers to Texas for border security. Governor Ron DeSantis signed strongest anti-illegal immigration legislation in the country to combat Biden's border crisis. How'd that work out? A lot of truckers won't even go into Florida as a result of this. Okay, this actually led to tremendous problems, and there were Republicans in Florida at town hall meetings begging immigrants to come back after Ron DeSantis did this. Well, it didn't work. It wasn't a good idea. Let's continue. Governor DeSantis, conservatives take over liberal arts college and could silence diversity, critics say. Governor Ron DeSantis pushing education in Florida much further right. They're, they're running these headlines like it's super based. DeSantis back new college board scraps five professors tenure. Florida city cancels LGBTQ pride parade as Ron DeSantis prepares to sign anti-drag bill. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, anyway, here's what pops up at the end of the video. Pride parade canceled. There's Ron DeSantis marching soldiers and oops. What is that we have here? What is this symbol that we have right here? Somebody underneath it says, really special ending to the video here. Yep, that's a Sonnenrod, Sonnenrad? I don't know how to pronounce that, excuse me. But basically, this is a well-known Nazi symbol. That's what it is. It is a well-known Nazi symbol. So DeSantis staffers retweeted it. I guess they got the word from higher up because the last time they ran with that super online video, they got dragged through the mud and they lost a lot of support. Um... And they probably told the, hey, delete it. So they did delete it, but the damage was already done. The damage was already done. This is what I mean when I say your campaign is run by hyper online 4chan Nazis. That's who's running it. And they're probably like 14 as well. That's who's running it. It used to be the case that when you talked about Ron DeSantis, it was like, hey, he's close to Trump in the primary polls. Still behind him, but close to him. But when you look at the general election polls, DeSantis is beating Biden, and Trump is not. And so he's the electable one in the general election. He's now blown all of that. He is no longer the quote-unquote electable Republican in the general. He's hemorrhaged support for a general, never mind in a primary. He's going further and further to the right to try to win the primary, and it's not working. He's still losing primary voters. But I'll tell you, one demographic he's doing really well with. Hyper-online 4chan Nazis. That's who he's doing. The, the right-wing poster contingent really does love Ron DeSantis. Well, guess what? You guys have no idea how to run a campaign. No idea. He's doing stuff like banning abortion at six weeks, a deeply unpopular policy. Why do you think that's going to work? I've never seen a, a, a less kitchen table-oriented campaign in my life. Frickin' Tim Scott's political instincts are better than Ron DeSantis and his team. And here's another example right here. And then, you know, you have to... This begs the question, too. Why do Nazis seem so attracted to your campaign? Why do they seem so attracted to it? And are you okay with that, Ron? I know he would hear this and he would dismiss it as like, this is just smears from a, a liberals or leftists, right? That's what he would say. It's just smears. But I don't know, man. Uh, looks like you've attracted many hyper-online 4chan Nazis. I wonder why that is. Should you reevaluate as to why that's the case? No. But he'll, he'll just do the wink and the nod thing like Trump did back in 2016 to it. David Duke. I don't even know who David Duke is. David Duke? I don't know anything about David Duke. Remember that? And DeSantis, when he defended that last ad, uh, you know, glorifying the guy who murdered homeless people, bragging about being anti-gay, he let, he let us know what he really thinks and the wink and the nod. Well, here you go. It's not even subtle anymore, man. It's not even subtle anymore. So enjoy your rapid decline, man. Did you guys know even Sargon of Akkad was like, this is not a good look, Ron. <laughs> and Sargon has been known as like, you know, a fairly conservative online uh, commentator for a while. And even he's like, geez, sort of swinging and missing with this one, chief. You don't say, you don't say. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.